Hey guys, my name is Nicole. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am sharing with you a Dixie Belle unboxing. I'm super excited. Let's just jump right into it. If you're new to my channel, you might not know that I do sell Dixie Belle paint on my Etsy page. It's been a little bit of a rocky start because Dixie Belle apparently just released a bunch of new transfers. So like if you've ever seen like those images that you could rub onto furniture or onto craft projects, Dixie Belle just released a line of those. I wasn't aware of that when I signed up. So I launched my business the same time that they launched those transfers and they got really behind on a bunch of orders. So I know shipping has been really slow. It's taken me probably about 10 days to get my order to this house and I've been just like waiting and waiting because I'm really eager to get started using some of their newer products. But I appreciate everyone who's ordered so far and has been really patient with me because I truly didn't know it was going to be a problem when I opened up the shop and I wish I would have been able to warn everybody ahead of time. But it should be resolved at this point. I think they're getting caught up pretty well. So if you want to order from me, make sure you use the code GOVINTAGE at the end. It's all caps and you get uh, free shipping over $35. A lot of this is new for me. I'm not super new to Dixie Belle, but I am new to their other products besides their chalk paint. I've been using their chalk paint for a couple of years, just not like exclusively. It's just one of the many brands that I kind of play around with. Um, but I am trying to switch to it exclusively so that I can share it with you guys. So if you want to order it, you can order it from me and I'm kind of sticking with one brand. I know that makes it a little bit easier for you guys to know what I'm using. So I don't even remember what I bought, honestly. Let's find out. Apparently I got some applicator pads. These are for, oh, all the gel stains and the hemp oil and even the waxes. So they're kind of like these spongy little sponges. They're wrapped in microfiber. So I don't think they'd be very easy to clean, like especially once you get wax on them. It looks like if you use something oil-based on it, it's probably gonna be a one-time use. Um, but if it's a water-based product, which most of the things I buy, I try to stick with the water-based things, then you can just uh, wash this with soap and water and use it again and again. So this should give you a nice smooth finish for your top coats mostly. And those are so cheap on their website. Oh boy, I'm very excited. Okay, awesome. So this is the color Fluff. And it is not their brightest white. I think it's like one off. So I keep going on about how like I don't want a bright white, I don't want a bright white, but I do still sometimes need like a white, especially for crafting. So I didn't do the cotton, which I think is the bright white. This is the fluff um, and it looks perfect. Oh, good. Man, I'm just so happy with my past self right now. So I also got caviar which is, this is like their black color. And if you've never used Dixie Belle, their products go on so smooth. I have had such a good time with their chalk paint. Um, so again, this is the caviar. I get the 16 ounce, so it actually comes in an eight ounce, so you can go smaller than this. It comes in eight, 16, and then 32 ounce. So I almost always just get the 16 ounce because I use a lot of paint. But I don't get the 32 ounce because I don't wanna spend that much normally and I get nervous about not using it up fast enough and then it drying out. So I feel like 16 ounces is just right in the middle and it's the perfect amount. I also get 16 ounces if it's like a color I'm gonna use a lot. If it's an accent color, like I think these are eight ounce containers, I'll show you the difference. Okay, okay, got Spanish moss. I know it's so hard to focus, Spanish moss. So that is hard to tell in the canister, but it's actually like a really grayish green. There's also a color dried sage, which is a little cooler than this, I would guess, just from looking on the outside, because I've used that color before. It's a little lighter and a little cooler. This one's got a little bit more green to it. I like it, it looks nice and warm. I think that'll be a fun one to craft with. Oh, okay, good. And then I got Hurricane Gray, which that is like a medium gray. 
pretty like neutral middle of the road gray. So not too blue, not too purpley. Oh, and this, that was the eight ounce container compared to the 16 ounce. What else? I'm trying to grab all the paints first. It might be all the colors I got, which I guess that's right. Okay, cool. I got the flat clear coat. So this is one of their top coat options. They have um, the waxes that I use a lot too. And then they have hemp oil, which I haven't used, but my mom uses a lot that she really likes. And then there's gator hide, which I have used a couple times. It's like very water resistant, like heavy duty top coat. And this is more of just like a middle of the road again. Um, just like kind of for all surfaces kind of top coat. So it's um, protective, but it's not as protective as gator hide. And I got that in the flat. It comes in a couple other finishes. I want to say probably satin and gloss. I don't know what this is. Um... Hmm. How do I open a box? Anybody? So I got a bunch of waxes. I've been really... Let me open this before I try to talk. I've been really loving using the white wax. I think it just gives such a good like vintagey look and it brings out any detail. I've used it a ton in my recent DIY videos. So if you're not sure what white wax would look like, make sure you go back and watch those because I've been using it a lot. Um, so I know, I'm pretty sure that's what one of these. So the best stain wax, and this is in white. Now this is the largest size it comes in. This is the 10 ounce. It also comes in a four ounce container which is what I started with. And the four ounce honestly will last you a really long time. So I would only get the 10 ounce if you are a fellow refin refinisher like I am, because that's gonna take a really long time to go through. And I also got the wax in clear. So if I don't want the color of a wax, but I want the protection, I can use this. The other wax that I use a lot is their Easy Peasy Spray Wax, which I really love. It's also clear and it has a matte finish. And that just goes on so easy because you're not wiping it on really, you're just spraying it on and then you kind of wipe off the excess. So that's another great product, the Easy Peasy Spray Wax. Um, but these are two of their wipe on waxes. And I think I got, oh, there's a paint in here, good. I got at least one more wax, but I think I got more than that even. What is this? Oh, the gray wax, which I've never used a gray wax before. I'm so glad this came in today because I just filmed a Goodwill haul and I'm about to do all my upcycling projects with that haul. And now I have all these new products to play with. So I'm super excited. So this is the grunge gray. Um, this is the four ounce container. So if you're wanting to compare sizes, this is four and this is 10. So quite a bit larger, but this will do the job for a really long time. So I would always start with the smaller size, especially if you're new to this. And I wanted to try the gray instead of the brown that I'd normally use. I've only ever really had white wax, clear wax, and brown wax. And I just feel like brown wax a lot of times makes things just kind of look dirty and not necessarily antiqued in the way that I want. So I thought the gray might be a good compromise and try to see if that can antique things without making them look so just dingy. Oh, and this is another paint color. I forgot I got this one. So this is buttercream, which is also a white, but it leans much more yellow than the other whites that I have. Most of those lean a more gray, but I thought I would like to have this on hand. Um, but really, I mean, I really just wanted to try it out and see if I could recommend it to you guys as a good off white or not. It's pretty bright though. So I don't know. We'll just have to try that one and see how it dries. Uh, more colors. Okay, that's, I thought I ordered more paint than that. 
and more wax. Wow, it really went wax crazy this time. Okay, I think this is the last wax. This is the black wax, which I've never used black wax either, so I thought that might be another good way to antique things without it looking just brown and dirty. I really wanted this because when I do my crockery stamps with the air dry clay, I always use the white wax to kind of fill in the letters, but I thought it would be fun to use the black wax too so that it could look like it was almost typed on there. I don't know what that's gonna look like, but I definitely wanted to try it, so that was why I grabbed the black one. And I think this is my last paint color. This is the French linen. And I just got the eight ounce because I wasn't sure if it was gonna go too lavender for me but it's just like another really soft gray. More like a neutral though. I mean, I think it should lean more like a beige, but I'll just have to try this because it's really hard to tell when it's in the container. I'm trying to get you like a side. So again, that's the French linen. Okay, a couple more things, I'm almost there. This is a new product to me, and I think it's newer to Dixie Belle in general. These are the Voodoo Gel Stains. There's other colors too. I just went with the brown because I want to use this on wood as well as be able to use it on my projects. That's why I didn't do a brown wax also is because I knew I was going to get this, so I didn't want to have too many brown products going on. This is called Tobacco Road. The color is. So this is a water-based gel stain. So I'm familiar with gel stain, but it's never been a water-based one. I love that it comes like in a little squirt bottle that just seems like it'd be really easy to store and to use. So I got this one and then I got the gel stain in the white. So this is called White Magic. So these are both water-based, like I said, which is really great. And that's why I bought those applicator pads that I showed you in the beginning. So I can just kind of use those to rub these on and then I can wash them and use them again. I saw someone online just using the white like over some paint and it looked so nice. Um, kind of just another alternative to the white wax. So I'm eager to try these also. I think everything else I got is brushes. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for this one. So this is the La Petite. Get it out of the plastic. Wow, this one is large. I don't know why it's called La Petite. But it's awesome. I love, I'm like, I know I mentioned this in a recent video. Actually, let me just get this out first. So this is the same brush that I've been using in my videos. It's the only like natural bristle brush that I own and it's from Dixie Belle, of course. And it's only $9.95 on our Etsy site from Dixie Belle. This is called the French Tip Brush. So I've talked about this before. It's a big seller for me now because you guys see me using it all the time, but it has like this tapered uh, bristles at the end. They're natural, they're so easy to wash out. And I've been using mine to death and it still looks good as new. So this is a nice shiny brand new one. It has a nice long handle and it's super lightweight. So if you are just starting out, I would definitely recommend grabbing this brush. Like I said, it's only $9.95. I think that is an amazing price. It doesn't shed or anything. But having the tapered bristles makes such a difference just in how quickly you're able to apply the paint and like get into the details of things. It has made my job so much easier. So this is the French tip brush. Comparing this now <laughs> to the La Petite brush. Now you have to be careful with these because they're sold out a lot. So I try to keep it up to date on my Etsy site. If it looks like it's available, it probably is. Um, but sometimes I have to take them down if they're sold out because they're really popular. These are quite a bit more. I think they want to, I want to say these are about $25. Um, so this is the La Petite, but I love that it has like a nice curved wood handle. I think this is going to be really nice to use. It's so soft. So I'm really excited about this because I've never really invested in nice brushes. I always just use like Woosters from Home Depot for five bucks. 
but that means I'm gonna have to take care of this guy, which is not my strong suit. And then I think, ooh, I forgot I snagged one of these. I don't know who's gonna clean up all this trash off the floor because I can barely bend down there anymore. Oh my gosh, this thing's massive. Wow. So this, the La Petite brush has been in stock more than this one. This is called the Best Dang Brush. It's humongous. So this does not have a tapered bristle. It's flat and huge. This thing's awesome, wow. So that's what it's called here, the Best Dang Brush. Trying to get it out of focus on there. How cute is that? It's a natural wood handle again. Oh, I love it. I do feel like Dixie Belle's products are just really well made. Everything's made in the USA. Oh, the bristles are really nice and soft. So how cool is this? This is actually, I think more of like a furniture painting brush. And then let's compare these two. So they're both very large, but this one's definitely like the biggest. But like I said, this one has been sold out a lot. So if you don't see it on my Etsy page right now, uh, maybe you'd like me to put you on a list or something if you're interested in this one. Just let me know. Um, but like I said, I think they're both around $25. This one's in stock more often. Um, but wow, this guy's pretty amazing. I, I did not not remember that I had snagged this. But that's pretty exciting. So here's kind of the differences. But in all honesty, if you're new to crafting or painting furniture, this one's not like... I did paint something recently with this. It's not the best for furniture because it's a little small, but it is so good for like the detail works and stuff and all the craft projects that I do. For $9.95, this is like a really, really good value and a good place to start. But if you are doing this more on a regular basis, I mean, these, they look awesome and I cannot wait to try these. They look great. I think that's everything. Let's see what this says. It doesn't have the prices on here. I wish it did so I could tell you what I paid. Ooh. Baby, moving on me. Oh. Okay, I can go, let me just go real quick. So the eight ounce chalk paints that I bought, that's a smaller size. So those are $12.95. The 16 ounce, is $20.95. No, that's the clear coat, but uh, pretend this is paint. $20.95. The clear coat for the 16 ounce is $21.95. I'm like having some major baby pains right now. Oh, it's fine. I'm sure I'm not going into labor. My babies like to come really late and I'm only like 38 weeks. So, um, so $21.95 for this size, $13.95 for the eight ounce clear coats. What else? I wanna double check on the brushes. So the Best Dang brush, which is that really big one. This guy, he was $25.95. Like I said, the French tip, which is the smallest one, is $9.95, and then the Le Petit brush was $24.95. Um, but if you take care of these, they will last like forever. Um, the Voodoo Wax, I wanted to tell you, or the Voodoo Gel Stain, those are $19.95. And then these little waxes, these are the four ounce best dang waxes and they come in, comes in like five or six colors. They are $11.95 for the smaller one. And like I said, that'll, that'll take you through many, many projects. It'll last a long time. The 10 ounce ones are $21.95. The little applicator pads, I wanted to tell you about those. $4.95, so those are nice and cheap. Is there anything else that I got today? Probably. I don't know, that feels like a lot. That was probably a lot of information to give you guys. So, so that was my Dixie Bell haul. I hope you enjoyed hearing all the things that I just purchased.
Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions about Dixie Bell, please put them in the comments below and I'd be happy to get back to you as soon as I can. I appreciate you watching so much today. I will see you in the next video. Bye.